What's up, guys? Juggalo here. I'm going through, you know, my articles that I do, um, just to see what's going on in the PC tech world, and uh, been playing some Halo 4 um, and having some fun with that because the new content came out today. I already did the chapters on uh, Legendary with co-op. Pretty awesome uh, so far with the Halo 4. But anyways, excuse me. NVIDIA is going to name the GK110 base computer graphics as GeForce Titan. And uh, this is from uh, techpowerup.com. It was actually from um, uh, Swe Clockers. And uh, that's, I think that's a Swedish website, obviously, um, just because it is translated into English on Tech Power Up versus where they got the source. You can't really understand it. You kind of can and kind of can't. That makes sense. Um, so that's pretty cool and everything. They're saying it started slow because of NVIDIA launching its console Project Shield and AMD rebate. Uh, Rebranding its uh, old GPUs, um, the Eon old GPUs to the 800M series, and da 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 da. And they said that it apparently can change in uh, late February. Now, this is probably just an estimate uh, with the arrival of the high end single GPU graphics cards based on the GK110 silicon and everything like that the same chip that goes into making the company's uh, Tesla K20 uh, compute accelerator and everything like that so yeah it's pretty cool it's gonna have um, let's see 15 SMX units uh, 2880 CUDA cores and a 384-bit YGDDR5 memory interface. Um, some people were saying that it's going to be coming out with 6 gigs of memory, but again, this is just um, an estimate. I'm not going to believe anything until I see it, um, like from NVIDIA, you know, an article saying, hey, this is coming out, but this is what's going on. Also, if you guys are interested, excuse me, in the build I'm doing, or going to do, uh, depending on when the guy wants me to build the computer, I changed out two components, or if not three components, and I was able to put a, uh, a 7970 in here for the $1,000 budget build. So, that is kick-ass. A 7970... And a thousand dollar budget build. How awesome is that? Also, um, Logan um, from Tech Syndicate uh, actually uh, tested out the 8350 by AMD, and he said actually it excelled um, better than the 3570K or the 3770K, I believe. And he did it. He compared that to the 3822, so he tested the Z77 socket 2011 and all that stuff. And um, right now, the total that I have for this build, I'm using an MSI motherboard, uh, going to be 990FX, uh, the AMD 8350 uh, processor. I changed out the case for the NZXT Gamma case. Remember, guys, we're going in for... Uh, Invest little as possible, like in your case, but still have quality. So this is like forty bucks for a case, and it can accommodate up to twelve inches. But uh, I think this card is eleven point uh, five three inches long, so we're still going to have room. And uh, this cost is also going to include uh, Windows Seven Home Premium. Uh, 64 bit, which is a hundred bucks off of uh, Newegg.com. Now the total I got is uh, 1,126 dollars and uh, 91 cents. Uh, so technically, I went over 26 dollars over budget, but um, the reason why it cost uh, 1,100 
is because of the Microsoft uh, Windows Home Premium Edition 64 bit excuse me 64 bit for roughly a hundred bucks so pretty much he has everything he needs to do to run his computer all he needs is a mouse keyboard and a monitor which I think he's gonna use his uh, computer to so yeah a little change of plans and you end up being able to put a 7970 in this build how awesome is that but that's it guys um, thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys are watching the GK12 or GK110 news uh, coming out and everything like that I'm trying to keep up to date and seeing what it's gonna do how's it gonna overclock and everything like that so we're gonna see and uh, thank you guys for your support and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button you guys have a great day bye